हेलो फ्रेंड्स मेरे चूस टेक्रो यूट्यूब झानल डिजिटल असीस्टेंट फ्री क्लास मैं झानलो स्टार्ट सो ई रोज क्लास चूसक डेविड सार गई चपेबो जावा क्लास स्टार्ट इंट्रडक्षन अभी नचिंद एला क्लास अने कामेंटी प्रति कामेंटी क्लास अने कंटू चये कामें ओके क्लास एलाने ओके इन क्लास ने सारे स्टार्ट एलाइए चूँगी वीडियो ने लास्ट दाका प्रती चूँगी Hi everyone, welcome to our Java class. Today I am going to have a brief discussion on three topics. The first one is evolution of Java. That means how Java started and how it was evolved over the years. Secondly, why Java is called as object-oriented programming language. And next, we will discuss about Java buzzwords. The first one we'll discuss today is evolution of Java. So we can simply figure it out how Java has been evolved. Java is not a new creation; it has been derived from C plus plus, which has been again derived from the C language. Java derives syntax from the C language. What is the meaning of syntax? Java derives syntax from the C language. The meaning of syntax is the rules for writing a program. Whatever the rules we use or we follow, to write a C program, the same rules we use to write a Java program also. And Java derives some object-oriented features from the C plus plus. And we will talk about creation of java java was first conceived by james gosling and his team at sun microsystems in 1991 so james gosling is the first person who initiated the invention of the java language it took around for him 18 months to develop the first version of the java this first version is initially called as op language but later in 1995 it was renamed as java so james gosling is the father of the java language and you will wonder initially java is used to create a software for consumer electronic devices like microwave ovens refrigerators or for remote controls but later the java people found that java can be used in internet and for that reason java is also called as internet programming language the second one why java is called as object oriented programming language first of all you have to know what are the object oriented concepts so we have some um, we have the concepts of uh, concepts like abstraction encapsulation inheritance polymorphism etc as some of the object oriented programming languages because java implements or java uses all of these object oriented programming languages java is called as an object oriented programming language in the coming classes or subsequent classes we will see in detail what is the meaning of abstraction encapsulation inheritance and polymorphism and finally we'll discuss about java buzzwords so these are the java buzzwords buzzwords is nothing but features of java the first feature of java is simple yes java is a very simple programming language that means not for all only for the people who have already learned c language and c++ language for them java is a very easy to learn programming language the second feature is java is a secured programming language 
why Java is called as a secure programming language? You know, whenever a Java program is being executed in your in your computer or in your laptop, it is being executed under the control of Java runtime system. This Java runtime system will make sure that your program will not do any kind of harm to the files or data contained on your laptop. That means your Java program will execute under the control of Java runtime system. So for this reason, Java is called as a secured programming language. And the third one is portable. Yes, Java is a portable programming language. In order to understand this, let's take a simple example. So we will be having, we already know some portable TVs. What is the meaning of a portable TV? A TV which can be moved from one location to the another location. We can call it as a portable TV. Similarly, coming to the Java, a program which is written on one computer can be copied in a pen drive and can be executed on another computer which is having a different operating system and a different CPU. That concept is called as portability. I repeat this, the meaning of portability is the same code must work on all computers. That means a program which is written on one computer okay, can be copied in a pen drive and can be executed on a different computer. Okay, Remember, the configuration of this computer is different from this computer. So for this reason, Java is called as a portable programming language. The next feature is object-oriented. Yes, Java is called as an object-oriented programming language because it implements all the object-oriented features like, as we discussed earlier, features like encapsulation, polymorphism, inheritance, etc. So Java is called as an object-oriented programming language. The next feature is robust. The general meaning of robust is strong. It means that Java is a strong programming language. In what sense it is a strong programming language? Java has a very important feature called exception handling. What is the meaning of exception? Exception is a runtime error. Generally, if you take uh, other programming languages like C or C++, they don't have the exception handling mechanism. That means whenever there is a runtime error in C or C++ program, mm -hmm. even program will abruptly stop executing and at times your program can hang your computer also. Okay. This problem is easily handled by the Java programming language by the concept of exception handling. That means no Java program will ever stop its execution abruptly. So it will end in a very smooth manner. That is the meaning of robust. And next, multi-threaded. That means, yes, Java is a multi-threaded programming language. The meaning of this is to a single Java program can do multiple tasks at the same time. The best example I can give for this is two persons who are locating at two different locations. You know, they can play an online chess game. So a single program is supporting the moves or decisions of these two persons. Or I can give one more example. Okay, you take a competition, car racing competition. There might be six vehicles or six cars competing. Each car belongs to a different person locating in different countries. So all these six persons are combined by a single program or integrated by a single program, by, a, by our Java program in fact. For this reason, Java is called as a multi-threaded programming language. The next one is architectural neutral. 
its simple meaning is write once run anywhere anytime forever what is the meaning of this for example if you take today you have written one program by using your java uh, java language later after one year the same program can be executed irrespective of you know on what computer you are trying to execute okay even after one or two years your program will run to completion that is the meaning of architectural neutral next one is interpreted java is an interpreted language we all of us know any high level language program has to be converted into a machine level language program okay so for this there are two methods first one is compilation second one is interpretation okay so all c programs are compiled what is the meaning of compilation whatever the instructions we have in our c program all the instructions at once they are converted into the machine language that process is called as compilation then what is interpretation interpretation in interpretation instruction by instruction they will be converted into the machine language generally we say that interpretation is slow when compared to the compilation so unfortunately java is an interpreted language that means your java program will convert into the machine language instruction by instruction next one is high performance generally people used to uh, do comments on the java language that it is a very slow language so for that reason the java people has added a compiler to the interpreter that compiler is called as jit compiler that means in order to convert a java program into a machine language both the interpreter as well as compiler will work together in order to increase the performance and the next feature of java is distributed as we all know that java is called as an internet programming language so in in this world the computers are divided at different locations are located at different locations but still they have to communicate with each other okay for that communication you know we are going to use some protocols like tcp ip protocols so whatever the rules we have in this tcp ip protocol all those rules can be implemented by using the java language okay so this makes possible that uh, you know java can be an internet programming language and next one is a remote method invocation the general meaning of remote is far away far away m means method i means invocation the meaning of rmi is it is possible sitting on your computer you can able to execute a other program or a process running on another computer which is far away from you that concept is called as rmi and it is uh, that rmi can be implemented by using your our java programming language and finally java is a dynamic programming language generally the meaning of dynamic is a program which was written on this computer okay it has to be executed on any other computer in the internet environment suppose the other computer is having a different configuration so in that case the program is going to carry out some extra information which can be used to be executed on another computer okay in this sense java is going to be called as a dynamic programming language so thank you one and all